Yeah, let's do 11 a.m. Booking your table for two at 11 a.m. on September 17th. Perfect. Your reservation is confirmed. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Adam from Six Flow Automations here. And in this video, we're going to be going through step by step how to build an AI receptionist for restaurants, which means by the end of this video, you're going to have your own AI receptionist ready to implement for any business you want. So whether you're looking to actually deliver and implement this automation for a small restaurant business in your area, or whether you're just looking to build and get better with automations and use tools like Cal.com and like Retail AI. AI, then this video is for you. So if that sounds good, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment because I'm going to respond to all of your comments. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, guys, the first step is to get started with Cal.com. So if you don't have an account with Cal.com, go ahead and make an account and then I'll show you what to do once you're in cal.com and signed in. All right, so we are in cal.com. The next step is to create an event in cal.com. So let me go ahead and fix my screen because you're not going to see my whole screen the way I am now. There we go. That's better. So to wait, the way to create a new event is to um, click new at the top right corner and then we're going to title this reservation okay and you can title it whenever you want and then the duration let's just set to 120 minutes because maybe that's the approximate time a reservation would take go ahead and press continue okay but we're not done here we actually need to go to advanced settings this is very important because we have to connect our calendar to this event and what this is going to do is enable cal.com and retail to actually book the reservation into the calendar from the call. So to do that, you're going to want to go to this section here where it says add calendar and connect your Google calendar or your Outlook calendar to this event type. Once you do that, you can go ahead and press save at the top right corner of your screen. And we're actually all good for cal.com at this point. So now let's head over to retail AI and build our voice agent. All right, we are in Retail AI. Now to create a voice agent, we wanna to go to the top right corner of our screen, press create an agent right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and click voice agent. And now let's go ahead and select a single prompt agent right here. And we'll go ahead and press create. Now the way single prompt agents work in Retail AI, it is run by a single universal prompt that essentially guides the agent on what to do. So first, let me just name this so we stay organized. Um, restaurant receptionist, you can obviously name it whatever you want. Um, and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and paste this universal prompt in, okay? Um, I'm going to provide this prompt for you somewhere in the description so you can go ahead and copy and paste pretty much the exact same prompt and you're just going to want to change a couple things here and there. Um, for example, you want to change the restaurant names uh, and things like that and go through it and see what works for you and what doesn't. Um, but there's a couple key important points here that I have included in this prompt for the voice agent to actually work properly. So the first thing I did is, as you can see, I said, um, I use the end call. So if the caller says to end the call, then um, I tell the voice agent to end the call because retail doesn't actually know when to end the call and it will just stay on the phone forever if you don't tell it to end the call. So once we have this line in here, which you guys will, if you copy and paste the prompt I'm going to provide to you, we want to go over here to functions. Okay. And once we're in functions, uh, we're going to press add and we're going to press end call, press save. And that is the first function. We need to add two more functions, okay? So the next function we are going to add is the check calendar availability function. And what this function does, it basically enables Retail AI to connect with cal.com and see if there is availability to prevent the AI agent from booking an appointment um, or booking a reservation where there is no availability at that time. So that is why we need this function. So what we're going to do here is we need to input an API key an API key from cal.com as well as an event type ID from cal.com. So let's go ahead and get both of those things. So what we need to do is go back into cal.com and then to get the API key, we're going to want to go over to settings. Um, you can't see, so I'll just show you quickly. It's just at the bottom, bottom, right? You can't see, but it's going to be at the bottom left of your screen. 
right there. So go ahead and click settings. Excuse my dumb face in the middle of the screen. Uh, we're just going to work with it for now and then I'll fix it in a minute. So once you go to settings, uh, we're going to click API keys um, and go ahead and uh, create an API key. So press add. You can say restaurant, YouTube, whatever you want to name it. Press save and then an API key is going to come up. So don't share this API key with anyone. So that is why I'm blurring it on the screen because this is confidential information. Press copy on that API key. Go back into retail and go ahead and enter that API key into this retail AI function. But we are not done yet. We need to get the event type ID. So to get the event type ID, we're going to go back into cal.com. We're going to go back into that event type that we just made. And if you look at your, um, your search bar, this is where you're going to find your event ID. There's going to be six, seven, six or seven digits, um, in the URL, as you can see. You're going to see six to seven digits there. It is between the slash and the question mark. That is your event type ID. So go ahead and copy that and paste it into the retail AI check calendar availability function. And then finally go ahead and fix your time zone. This isn't overly important. I'm just going to do it anyways. And then we press save. We have just added the check calendar availability function. We need to add one more function and that is the book on the calendar function in cal.com. This enables retail AI to connect with cal.com and actually book the reservations into the calendar. So what we're going to do is get that same API key. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it um, from the previous function I made in retail. Um, press add uh, book calendar availability and paste that in. And then I'm going to go back into cal.com and grab that same event type ID, paste it in, and of course, change the time zone uh, one more time and press save. Amazing. Now there is just one more step to do uh, to complete the voice agent, and that is to add a phone number to this AI agent, to assign a phone number to this AI voice agent. Um, I'm not going to walk you through how to actually obtain a Twilio phone number because we have a video on our channel where Noah walks you through step by step how to do that. I'm going to add a card at the top of the screen that you can check out if you want to if you want to see how to do that. But I'm going to assume that you already have a phone number. So what you're going to do once you already have a phone number is you want to click publish at the top right of the screen. You want to click inbound phone number select the phone number and then go ahead and add the phone number that you just bought. Okay. So you're going to click it, press publish. Great. The new version has successfully been created. So at this point you have a functional AI receptionist for restaurants that you can go ahead and call and it'll book a reservation right into your calendar. Let's just go ahead and test it out right now. Hi, this is Grace from Six Low Bar and Grill. How can I help you? Hey Grace, I'd like to book a reservation. Fantastic. Let's get you booked. What's your full name? Adam Jordan. Thank you, Adam. How many people will be in your party? Let's do a party of two. Great. A table for two. And what date and time would you like to book? Can we do September 17th at 9 a.m.? And the email underneath that reservation will be adamjordan88 at gmail.com. Let me quickly check if we have a table available for two on September 17th at 9 a.m. Adam, it looks like we don't have any tables available at 9 a.m. on September 17th, but we do have openings starting from 11 a.m. onward that day. Would you like to book a table at 11 a.m. or later time? Yeah, let's do 11 a.m. Booking your table for two at 11 a.m. on September 17th. Perfect. Your reservation confirmed. We look forward to seeing you. Great. Thanks. Great. There you have it. We just build an AI receptionist for restaurants step by step. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to start your own AI voice automation agency, we actually have a school community walking you through step by step how to launch and scale your agency. And we give you the same operations that we use to get our first clients in 42 days and get our first 1,000 followers in just 51 days. So if that sounds good to you, we have the link in the description. I won't waste any more of your time, guys. Take care.